Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another Halo Infinite video. I have some exciting news to share with you guys. If you guys don't already know, Joseph Staten, the writer of Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST and Reach has returned to the Halo franchise to work on Halo Infinite to help 343. This makes me so happy, like I can't even describe it. If this news doesn't give you guys hope for Halo Infinite's story, then I don't know what will. This will, this blows my mind, you know, honestly, like, like imagine if Martin and Donald returns too, along with Joseph Staten, that would be amazing, uh, that would be a dream come true for everybody. So yeah, Joseph Staten, he worked on the Halo games, he was the main uh, project leader, um, he's, he's also known for doing grunt voices, uh, which sounds awesome and funny, uh, and he made some Halo novels too, which are apparently, apparently very good. Uh, I never got around, you know, of reading them, and, and I'm, you know, I'm not much of a book reader. <laughs> I'm just too much into playing the Halo games uh, currently. But I will read one of his books at some point. Now, since Joseph will be working with 343 officially, I'm very curious on how much work he will put in. Will 343 scrap Halo Infinite story completely and have Joseph state to rewrite the whole story uh, on how it's supposed to turn out? We don't know. He probably do some minor touches here and there. But since this game is officially delayed to 2021, uh, I think there's a possibility, you know, he will play a bigger part of the project. Uh, because honestly, without this guy, like this legend, Halo wouldn't be where he is right now. I'm specifically talking about the classic Halo games that Bungie made. He is the soul of Halo. That's how, how all Halo fans see him. Since Halo Infinite is going to be a 10 year plan in the making, uh, this is just me speculating. I was thinking that Joseph Staten could likely work on a DLC campaign for Halo Infinite. That would be cool if he does something like that. I wouldn't mind. Um, I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna be playing a bigger part on Halo Infinite's campaign story, because I read somewhere on the article that he won't be replacing, you know, the other developers that are, are already, you know, that are already writing the story. But what really matters, he is back. He is back to finish the fight. Uh, I just never thought he will make a return. It's incredible to have him back on Halo, so we all should be grateful. So we all heard the rumours about Halo Infinite could be delayed to 2022. Well, 343 actually came out and said the rumours were fake. Halo Infinite will be released, you know, in 2021 still. Uh, there was also a rumour about, you know, Microsoft neglecting Halo Infinite on the Xbox One version. Uh, so basically they came out and said, you know, none of this is true. Uh, Halo Infinite is still going to be coming onto the Xbox One and still going to be released in 2021. When they did come out and confirm this, and this is just my opinion, I was kind of hoping for this to be true. You know, since Joseph Staten has returned to the Halo franchise, I think it would be better off if Halo Infinite was delayed to, to 2022. I mean, I'm still okay with the release to 2021, but this would be even a whole lot better, you know, more breathing space for 343 and for his Halo fans. But like I said, I'm totally fine with the 2021 21 release, uh, but the Xbox One version, I know I'm going to sound selfish here on what I'm about to say and you probably disagree with me for it um, but they should have dropped the Xbox One version because that's what's going to be holding Halo Infinite back and we all, and we all want to see Halo Infinite to reach to its full potential it possibly can on the, on the newer console and the PC and the only way to, to, to do that is to release Halo Infinite only on the latest Xbox and PC but if Microsoft is going to keep going backwards like this and not moving forward it's not really a smart move in, in my opinion, it's not good. But overall, I'm so happy about Halo Infinite in its current situation. I'm getting more confident with the game now. If they can now just bring back Marty O'Donnell, please 343 make it happen. Uh, but let's be honest here, the, the new composer we have now is fantastic. 343 released three of their official Halo Infinite soundtrack and they all sound incredible. Uh, and I'm playing one of the soundtracks right now, uh, as you guys can hear. Uh, it sounds so iconic, uh, it really does remind me of Marty, uh, Marty's good old soundtrack, you know? Even Marty O'Donnell was even pleased with the Halo Infinite soundtrack and that says a lot. As long as the new composer takes Marty, you know, Martin O'Donnell, you know, soundtracks and mix it up with something new, like he's done with the Walk Through the Trees, it's basically a massive accomplishment. That's what Halo Infinite needs exactly. Okay guys, I think I said enough in today's video. If you guys are so happy with this news about Joseph Staten returning to the Halo franchise, let me know Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Halo content. And be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm always going to be streaming Halo on there every day on Twitch. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.